<laughs> it's fine. You can okay, okay. So, this is Tamara Mascara, and <laughs> I want to tell you the story about Jun Nakayama on the Life Ball 2009, <laughs> where I met her for the first time in person. So, before, I only knew her from magazines and the internet. And then I was really, I was really, really, really like happy and excited to meet her in person. <laughs> so I went to the New York room in the City Hall of Vienna. There was a staircase um, with a stage on the front, and in the back of the staircase was the backstage for the artists. And uh, in front of the stage, there was Jun standing there in a golden dress with huge blonde hair and I was um, coming up to her asking her in Japanese if she was Junakayama so I was like Junakayama this ka? so she was like oh my god yes and I introduced myself and so we got to know each other we watched together the show of Shante the dancer and also of my former boss Dame Galaxis, a Austrian drag queen, a total bitch. She performed uh, Divine's song "Shoot Your Shot," and with her naked ass, she went down the stairs in this staircase that was also part of the stage. When the show was finished, Jun told me, "Okay, let's go backstage." Actually, she said, "Let's go backstage." <laughs> so. I told her that I was not supposed to go backstage, but she she didn't give a fuck. So we went to the backstage, and in the backstage there was uh, Amanda Labore, there was Shante, and I also think Jodie Arias. I'm not sure, but like Jodie wasn't there. There were many many like curious people, and <laughs> we hung out for a while in this small backstage. And then uh, we went downstairs and Chun told me we need to go to the VIP backstage. <laughs> and I also told her I'm not supposed to go there because I don't have the right wristband. But she told me uh, it's no problem, we can go there. <laughs> so we went to this VIP backstage and for sure I couldn't get in. But she told me, tell, tell the people of the staff that you're part of the blondes. <laughs> Which I did. But they didn't let me in because the person, <coughs> the person that I, um, that I, I was pretending to be was already having his wristband and they had it on a list. So I kept pretending that I was this other fake person and I tried to sound very, very American. So I was like, no, really, I am this person. And I really tried to sound as American as possible. <laughs> And um, then it, there was this one moment where the actual blondes, the designers, they came out of the VIP backstage with like photographers and everything and I stopped the guy and I stopped him and I was like, hey, and he turned around and I was like, I am this guy, right? And he was like, yes, you are. So it was working and, and then I got the wristband and we walked in and inside. We were hanging with Dirty Martini, we were hanging with uh, Katy Perry, Katie Perry um, Richie Rich, Amanda Lepore. Triple A. Yes, so stuff like that. And we were hanging with all of those and took some pictures and it was fun. And then at one point, Chun said, uh, we're at the Life Ball, we need to drink champagne. <laughs> so she went to the bar and she was like, she was like hitting the bar. She was like, I want a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Right now. So they gave her they gave her the bottle of champagne. And she didn't pay for anything. <laughs> but I, I thought it's supposed to free, no? I'm not sure, champagne. It's, yes, yes, because VIP is everything free. Maybe it is. Yeah, maybe so it is. I was right. Yeah, so maybe. I'm not I, w I was the first <laughs> time. I was the first time. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I think this is the story. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay.